Okay, so to get started with this outfit, I'm using a strip of fabric that is 34 inches by three inches. Um, and then I need to cut this piece in half. It's 18 inches. So it's gonna be nine inches for the cross. And then I just always like to take my lighter and just kind of burn the end just a little bit to prevent fraying. And then I'm going to just fold this over. It's gonna be our channel, one of our channels for elastic cord. Just gonna pin that. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my other piece and we're going to do the same thing. Then I'm going to match these up so that I can make sure these are the same length across. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pin that. And then I'm gonna do a straight stitch here and a straight stitch here. I'm gonna repeat the process for this piece. And then um, I'm also going to trim both of the long sides of our fabric strip here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've got the sewn. Um, I've got the trim added to our piece of fabric. Now I'm just going to fold over here to create a channel to go under the bust. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other end. Okay, and we're just going to set our pieces of elastic band to the side and we are going to do a straight stitch a straight stitch across on both of these okay so now we've got our straight stitch across on both of these sides and um we are going to make our cross so about we're gonna do it's gonna be about two and a half inches from the bottom of this piece and you're just going to arrange that to where it's in the middle. And then I like to pin it just to secure it before I sew. And then so that the other side is even, I'm just going to take this piece and lay it on top there. Make sure that this is right. It's gonna be like this. I'm just gonna place this right over top and match it up with the bottom piece. This just helps to make sure that these are even. And then I'm gonna stick a pin through Sometimes it can be a little finicky, but I want to stick a pin through just the top two layers. Well. 
then I'm just going to, before I sew it, double check to make sure that it's even. Then I'm going to also take that pin out of the back. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to straight stitch just to make sure we secure this top piece of elastic to this bottom piece of fabric. I'm going to straight stitch around in a rectangle. Some people like to do like an X in the middle just to secure it better, but I found that um, just doing a rectangle around keeps it secure enough, so. Okay, so I've got the elastic band sewn to the top and we've got just a few more steps for this and it'll be done. It works up super fast. But I'm gonna take a piece of elastic cord. I personally prefer two millimeter elastic cord. It just holds up a little better in my opinion than the one millimeter or the one and a half millimeter. I'm gonna feed that through both of these channels on the middle of the top. So it should look like this. And I'm going to tie a knot here. Okay, and then I'm going to just knot it two or three times. It should look like this. I'm going to just clip this excess off. And then next, I am going to try to get this knot down inside of one of the channels. It doesn't matter which side, but my knot, the knot is in between my thumbs there. So I'm going to do a straight stitch like right here, just to secure that knot inside. Okay, so you can just barely see it because I use transparent th um, thread, but the straight stitch is right there. I also use transparent thread on the band, I like how it looks. Okay, so now we've got rhinestones added. I'm going to take some elastic cord and thread it through here. Uh, I, I just make these so much, I know how much I use, but I'm using about a yard of elastic cord in the under boob portion. Mm -mm. And then I'll use about never measure it, so let me check. like a yard and 12 inches for the back portion. And then I'm just gonna flip this over. Thread that through the top, through, thread this on this side too. And this will tie like on the back side, I'll show you on the mannequin, but this is the finished product.